And so just so. I want to see. I want to see too. That was party. It's a pornographic Steam game. You're ordered a four month old yes. online? This is going to be great. Oh man, you're going to love it. A month later. You think Chloe's going to make it? I think she might still be in prison. <laughs> Icy mist! Dehumidify! Start the timer now. Because it's about to get hot in here. Please remember to silence all cell phones as well as music and video games. We are live and, well, yeah, local, depending on where you're at. It's all, it's all relative, really. Always local. Like I said, I have now silenced my cell phone. <laughs> and we can Share hear it out. <laughs> so... Welcome, Walljangers. This is podcast number 53 of the Trifoss podcast, the part of the Projangers and Wallhangers radio, well, media network. <laughs> I, of course, am one Mr. Matthew B. Girl, the Madman, to my right. Christopher Bristow, the old man, the birthday boy. Hello. In the future. Between now and you know, the end of whenever, time. Whenever he decides to release the podcast. Yeah. And, of course, to my left, we have Stephen Bucarell, Mr. Big Brother, as well as Twitchy Wilson, Kelly Collins, coming back in the building. And uh, we got a very, very special podcast out here for you guys, because uh, on this podcast live, I have a very special treat. Tales from the Morgue, Unfortunate Deaths and Unfortunate Ways, Episode 2, The World Premiere live for you all right here and we're going to be doing it live we are going to be doing it live go over to the first facebook well the second facebook tab we'll start off here so we start off the podcast and uh we are going to start off with one mr christopher bristow that one the old man wishing him a happy birthday happy 40th big 4 oh my god jesus kelly's free of mold Still got holes in his stuff, but you know, there's, there's no, no more. I can at least go back into my bedroom if, if I wanted to. Yeah, there you go. A holy bedroom. Okay. You're getting you in now? I'm one step ahead, or one step closer. So, I'm good. Right. Just think you're of how good you'll feel when it's all done. Oh, my God. Mm. It will be nice. Just like fixing this I would love to up. sleep in a bed and not on the couch. Really shitty. Because uh, <laughs> I got the Facebook notifications now of just like all the stuff we were doing throughout last year of getting this place all up and ready. And it's, it's a nice feeling when you have a... Yeah. Finally, you get it done. Mm -hmm. So, dawdling aside, we'll go over to it. Lust and love are two things that humans crave, each one easily mistaken for the other. Once love takes over the human heart, only the phrase, till death do us part, makes perfect sense. Today's visitors didn't realize how soon death would decide to check up to see if they were the perfect couple, or just tales from the morgue. Tonight is the last anniversary for Mark and Julie. As usual, Mark is late, and Julie sits waiting with everything perfectly in place. Julie never expected much from Mark, besides lipstick on his collar and excuses in his mouth. But tonight isn't like any other night. A gift on their special day is all she ever wanted, but it will turn out more than she bargained for. While he sells the cheap gift to Julie, the real deal is with the devil. Oh, <laughs> 
Probably my happiest moment right now. So that was it. Tales from the Morgue, episode two. Unfortunate deaths and unfortunate ways. Titled, uh, thank you, thank you. I'm proud of you, brother. Until death. That's thank awesome. You. I'm um, proud of you. Tradition. First thing I ever wrote and directed. Cheers. And Cheers. this is for you. Thank you, everybody. You all have helped make this happen. Good and job. tap again. It was literally no work on our part. No <sighs> transition. Motivation and, uh, you know. Support. Yeah, support. Yes. Yes. Yeah, putting up with my ass. Um, all that aside, that was something that I have alluded to and I've talked about on the podcast quite a bit. This is, of course, going into the nerdy news. <clears throat> Son of a bitch, I don't even know my hat. What the fuck is wrong with me? You're so geared up for You're Tales so of the geared up. Maybe yeah, yeah. if you uh, scroll out of this, it'll look bigger on that. You know, it's like when you shave, it makes it look bigger. Just shave it out. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> shave it out. So, this very weird background here is my next story. Um, it's all in, of course, Japanese. Because I have a very, very good Japanese game for you, which is free. And go up to the second story. This is a Game Academy, which is a Vertan Game Academy in Osaka, Japan. The, the And this is a bunch of different collective works that these students have done, okay? And go to the first page there. It looks better on this screen. The this previous, screen? Yeah, preview screen. Boom. So here above me, you see a whole bunch of the nice works, man. And the game that I'm talking about is Undefeated. I have it up on our YouTube. There is a new video of... Uh, that I want Mr. Matthew Buker, the Matt Man, put out there literally last night. It is a, it's a great game. Um, yeah, go up to the third link in the folder. Because this will show off the gameplay uh, in a good YouTube form. Uh, of course, the Projectors and Wallhangers Media Network supported that. And it's a new series I'm doing called Matt Plays. Pretty fucking simple. Welcome to Wall This is just my intro. You can skip forward to the actual stuff, but you don't actually have to listen to me at all. Well, any more than normal. It's on here. It's on Steam. Free! Yeah. It's a great price. Yeah. Silence the sale. We don't need to hear it. Um, but you see here it's free. Undefeated Games is the developer published by the uh, Game Academy. Three. Three. See, I, I'm even circling it right now. Three students made this game. And if you scroll forward here, as we get a little bit into more of the game action, um, it, it looks and plays a lot better than even Superman 64 played. I feel like if we got this to Superman yeah. 64, it would have been better. Yeah, that's a low bar. Because this is my favorite thing. Hang on. Let me get right here in the, in the old <coughs> superhero landing. Boss battles, uh, regular patrolling the streets, flying by, saving citizens from falling debris and fires, as well as attacking uh, people in ski masks collected around with guns. It could be an NRA convention. It may be people about to rob a building. I don't know. It's still a very, you know, early access game. Your big baddie, which I'm assuming is probably going to be, uh, if they keep developing it, which I'm assuming it probably would be if you're smart. Looks like, a, looks like a super agent. From Epic Blizzard, Games. So. Oh my god, look at that nice little tag in there. Talk about product placement. Epic Games in the Unreal 4 engine, which it's running on. Here's, you see the free uh, free modes, which is person under rubble, building fire, terrorist. They also have challenge modes, yeah. which are flight as well as uh, destruction. 
which uh, there you see in the little random tutorial there. That's pretty much the gameplay, man. You annihilate everybody, you save people. It's just a good patrol in the streets kind of uh, game out there. Challenges, boss battles, for free fucking hell. Google Translate uh, for the win, though, because I'm one of the gamers I was telling you guys before the podcast. I like to see, take a look at what the controls are before I actually play the game. And I looked into the options, and it was all in Japanese. <laughs> so I couldn't see. So what I did, I got Google Translate app on my phone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't speak Japanese? I don't. I don't. It would oh. actually... That's the, the only reason there goes why the Japanese I wanted market. to learn Japanese is because of anime and video games. And then I realized <laughs> how hard it was, and I said, fuck that. Huh. I'll wait for somebody else to do it. But here you see the flying uh, challenge. You skip my shitty intro to it, but that's okay. We don't have to see how I fucked up. But nice little Superman 64 flight. Actually, flight better than Superman 64. Oh, the gameplay, the controls and everything are really kind of smooth on the keyboard and mouse. Okay. Um, the destruction game pl uh, challenge is essentially just clicking a, your main mouse button until you, you know, blow everything up. And they're used to that, obviously. Yeah, it's point and click. Click hero, it's another one. All you do is click the fucking button. Um, but yeah, really great game, man. I'd give it a good solid. I would buy this game if they had even at the if they added in like. You know, a story mode. I would buy it. No, I wouldn't spend a lot of money on it, but I would buy. I would buy it. I would totally buy it. Reminds me of like a different version of uh, Prototype. Yeah, yeah, like an early. Hey, we want to make a game. This is kind of what it's going to look like, and yeah, yeah, yeah that's mm -hmm. exactly what it looks like. A very rough, but very nice. Because I think maybe this is the point I was searching for, where I go trying to fly off somewhere. Yeah. I don't know, and I, I bash into a, a building, and the glass breaks. So there's a little bit of kind of, of cause and effect there. They're trying for uh, realism. Yeah, it's nice. It's got nice lighting and all that, and then superhero landing. I only got one guy there. But three, four, maybe seven clicks of a mouse later, they're all dead anyway. So, like I said, I feel like a dick here. They were just gathered around in an open public place. Yeah, they had ski masks on, but they had guns. <laughs> okay. Could have been a meeting for the NRA, and I may have just just killed a whole bunch of old people. I don't know. Yeah, you know, just just saying, your gun laws aren't infringed. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. But we can go on to the next story here. That one's up on Steam for you PC master race folks who just want to have fun, just being an overpowered superhero, saving people and putting out fires on top of buildings. This story is pretty cool. Um, N.K. Jensen wrote a book trilogy called Broken Earth. It's getting an RPG game made. Okay. Now, the three books are the fifth season, Obelisk Gate, and The Stone Sky. And uh, it's being produced by Green Ronin Publishing. Um, now, you know these guys from The Expanse, Dragon Age, Mutants and Masterminds, gotten over 40 awards in their collective uh, wheelhouse. So they've gotten a lot of really good ideas and a lot of good stuff out there. Mm. They're taking on, the, they're helming this project. Now, the, what's cool is the world that NK set up here. So it's set in uh, the stillness, which is a far, a, a far future Earth where the planet experiences a catastrophic civilization-ending disaster known as Seasons. What remains of humanity struggles to survive in a protected communities known as comms, sitting in uh, out, sitting out the disaster, trying to rebuild civilization after it came to an end. So that's a night. It sets up. It, it sets it up nice, and they have like their own super powered fantasy, you know, fantasy powered beings called called origins. That okay. kind of seems like it fits. And uh, from which they're taken as uh, from child from the childhood homes, like the Jedi, and they're trained and made to uh, pretty much uh, control them and use them and use them like weapons. Those are the exact. Okay. So it's the Jedi. Yeah, they're the Jedi. Okay. Just another version of it. Yeah, and a different Jedi. So the the series has over three consecutive Hugo Awards for the books. So it'd be interesting to see what Green Ronin does with this game. I think that that has potential there to be All something right. enjoyable. 
as well as the next story could be enjoyable for some. What did that say? Real people are starring in uh, pornographic games. Of course, once again, available on Steam. No, nothing. <laughs> God, you guys suck. Where's Pity B. Herman's couch? Um, <laughs> Steam! <laughs> So, right on you, Kelly. Go house party yeah. is a pornographic Steam game that aims to create <laughs> 90s comedies like America's Pie. So, apparently, just a whole bunch of like stereotypical people have been in there, like the macho guy, the obnoxious guy, the jealous younger sister. Now they have an actual real life person who is a YouTuber. I know you are, but what am I? Lefty does stuff. Okay. That's her name. I don't know why. That's her Steam. That's her YouTube name. To over sixty-three thousand subscribers, who, um, who, yeah, she does exactly what you kind of think she does on YouTube. Um, she, people will sign up to watch her change into you know bathing out, uh, bathing suits, video games, TV reviews, you know, and uh, if you sign up for her uh, Patreon, you get her nudies. As well as a Discord community, so she makes about 10k a month from from Patreon. Jeez. And now the the developer back in November held a contest to see who would want to be in the game, and if you won, you got a thousand bucks. So <laughs> curveball, she's not the only one that won. She's available in the game right now. If you want to go get your freak on house party, essentially is a whole bunch of people in the house environment and. Everybody in there, you have the potential to have sex with them if you say the right thing. Did you? Uh, so you said ten thousand up, ten thousand a month for Patreon. Yeah. I bet you already signed up for that. And you already, you already but, got your own I mean, account. her pictures aren't that bad. Yeah, I've seen better. Not as good as yours, months, so but your pictures are pretty good. I don't know. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a sensation on that side. <laughs> <laughs> it's just him it's, watching tentacle porn every time. Big head watching tentacle porn is a very big search on Red Tube <laughs> as well as you porn. So, <laughs> the other two people who are going to be appearing in this uh, later on, they say, is Aaron Hansen and David Avidane from Game Grumps. Okay. So, uh, the Game Grumps guys are going to be, uh, you can fuck them. In no. the house party. No. Or you can no. fuck her. Next story. Yeah. Next story. Ooh, I like this story. I like this one. Let's get to this one. Super Nintendo World is coming to Universal Orlando Theme Park. What? Maybe. Maybe? Maybe. It's not confirmed. Um, it is. A, it was released by a Nintendo insider. So somebody inside Nintendo says, yes, they're coming to Orlando, Florida, and calling a, starting a third theme park in that called Universal's Epic Universe to where Mario and all his Super Nintendo buddies are going to play a big part in that. So there's going to be, could be a, heavy, uh, a heavy push on Nintendo in that theme park. You're going to have did they, a uh, rides. Did they buy land yet? Uh, they didn't say it's anything not like that. They have planning land. for the park, like active drawings and planning for the park. You're and planning. they're already planning on doing this third park for Universal Studios in their little epicenter there. So this is going to be a sub park. Yeah, but it's all, there's already one being built in Japan. Scroll up. Yeah, no, actually, right there. Japan is getting theirs open, uh, ready for the 2020 Olympics. They want to have Nintendo World open. Well, they want to have so like with with the Switch and the, uh, the 3DS, they always brought out in years past. Um, Mario and Sonic at the Olympics and yeah. do all that. So. Well, I think Mario's going to be there, and I think I saw something that Goku was going to be there. I'd appreciate that, but I'm out. He was just going to like the torch. Yeah. With a Kamehameha. Kamehameha. Um, <coughs> but <laughs> I, I like this because there's three uh, rides that would be coming to the Orlando uh, location, which would be Mario Kart. Obviously. Obviously. Kind of self explanatory. Um, what are you doing that? I hope they make that an Olympic event. Good job. I just want, <laughs> I want a foam shell that I can toss at somebody's head while they're go-karting. I think that would be fun. We should make a date to uh, all of us go go-karting and, like, bring. They probably... Pick us out? Yeah. 
No, I'm we can go. We can go to to uh, the go karting place up in Oaks, and we can actually like like put things on the carts. Mm. They'd probably make it augmented reality. That would be cool. No, so I'm like saying... you have a helmet and a screen, and then you can have like on the steering wheel buttons for the shell, and you can have them. They can have them floating. Looks like it's floating. You already have it on the phone. With the and then when you aim Mario to shoot card. at other people, the so other guy's car I get to throw up. banana peels at you. That's what I'm saying. I mean, yeah, and your car would like. It would just be funny, like if we did, did it, like. So <laughs> you're going around a curve and, and you have a banana peel smack you in the face. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you, would, <laughs> you wouldn't be like tossing at them. You would just like on the ground. <laughs> you play how you play. I'll play how I want to play. <laughs> <laughs> Because he wants that, he wants that super like Mario Kart realism where he can throw it thirty yards. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. I want that. Mm -hmm. I'd, lo I'd love that. I just think it'd be fun, like go go kart and then be like, ha! <laughs> throw. Gotta get a shell like. launcher, man. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, yeah, I would say get like an egg launcher and just paint a whole bunch of eggs into turtle shells. And shoot them at them. <laughs> That could work. No, the best way. Out. The best way would be like a like a a, a marble dispenser and just put shells on them and throw them back. Oh god. <laughs> so uh, all uh, marbles aside, they're planning on rumored to have two other locations, which is uh, Hollywood and Singapore. I'm Hollywood. assuming that's the actual country, Singapore, and not a uh, you know another place in California. I don't know how they picked that. Not Singapore, Jersey? Yeah, like how Singapore? They... Singapore? Yeah, yeah. the caning? Like Singapore, New Jersey. <laughs> there you go. Probably Singapore. where they're going. So the next story is a bit old school. <laughs> Very old school. One of my the favorite original, all time games. Original Diablo. It's available now on your browser. Uh, Rift, Rivsoft gave you access to uh, the shareware build of the game. Necromancer 100%. Which, if you have uh, the rest of the game, it'll unlock the rest of the game on the browser. It's that, available, was, that was two and three. Available on GOG, uh, which is a great site to buy games on. Mm -hmm. The uh, I still have my key. The port is based on reconstructed source code put together from two teams. Um, the first two areas of the dungeon and three character classes will be available on this browser version. And you can uh, look it up on the wiki page. To not get rid of any of the bugs. Why not get rid of the bugs? Ah, that's part of the part of the charm. <laughs> the allure. Yeah. Oh, this is exactly how I fucking remember it. That bug. I don't want it how I remember it. I want it better than how it was. Or leave it better than the way you found it. Yeah. <sighs> so talking about no stuff that nobody cares about, like uh, you know Ninja going to Mixer, among other news stories. EA is not talking about Anthem during the investor calls. No. I actually think that's a better idea, though. To not talk about what you're potentially doing to save this franchise with your investors who are giving you money? But they don't need to do anything about it. They can don't quietly they? improve the game without saying anything. Yeah, just... but they also, at the end of this, could be article, what they're doing. They have they they oh they're, we're working on a catastrophe or whatever their motive. How long did you hear anything but from they, No Man's Sky? They never I'm did saying, anything with it. Like I'm just saying, how how long uh, how much radio silence did you hear from No Man's Sky? And then all of a sudden, shit started getting better. Slow. Maybe that's the way they're doing it. Well, they're not planning on having anything fixed of it for at least quarter one of 2020, I'll tell you that. Which is, which only, is, which is actually November. I think this oh. game came, like, has potential to be Q1. so good, it just came out the worst It's still, time. this, you're And, yeah. and, and they you're brought out Apex the rest Legends of, at the same this time. This said that it, it was the worst timing to bring out this game. Yeah. yeah. Apex yeah. Legends has got their, you know, Fortnite rivalry in there. Which, Fortnite just keeps ripping off stuff from Apex Legends and other stuff like Titanfall. Because Apex, or Fortnite actually added in mechs. For the season ten, they so did. They keep ripping mm. off stuff from. Now they're yeah. just ripping off each other. Yeah, they are. They, it's all they're so doing. Wait, wait. You're saying Apex Fortnite Legends now has is... mechs that fall and land, and you can get in them. Apex wow. Legends. Wow. Yeah, Apex Remember when Legend that game first came out? It was so big. Because that was awesome. uh, Titanfall was <laughs> the property, which is where they skimmed that from. They're like, hey, we'll take your mechs you didn't even think of. Oh shit, motherfuck. The original Titanfall is still playable online on Xbox. It is Cataclysm good. was looming and storms were appearing. Right there, no, no, you're right there. And uh, the game is live, but then nothing. Not a fucking thing. They were preparing for an event, and they didn't fucking do anything. Uh -huh. That's my problem with it. 
If you want to take radio silence and improve your game, that's fine. Don't say you're doing something and then just not do it. Well, like, be like, guys, come on over for the hey, podcast, hey, 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 and I'm not so, even here. So I got, I'm, I'm hey, trying hey, to hey, hey, times are today. tight at EA. They have to save some money. Lay off a couple more thousand gonna people. going to have to lay off some more people. That's what it is. So I'm trying to play devil's advocate here. Because you're trying. We all, we, I mean, <laughs> speaking from a developer's Push point of view. Lights up. Yes. All right. So people at Bioware trying to make the game, trying to make it good, and then it has to go through the EA channel, and then EA swatches it. So then everything that they say they're going to do gets fucked by EA. Yeah. So which has been commonplace. We know this to be true. That is EA's mission statement. Well, now, fuck yeah. It's not yeah. like they didn't say <laughs> anything about Anthem. They mentioned a couple things. The first mention was that it sold very well digitally. And it has them uh, forced to shift their revenue modeling away from retail. So they're going to be focusing less on retail than to see. We sold a lot digitally. They're getting more with the times there in that aspect. Every game sells more digitally now. <laughs> it's because Americans are fat, lazy pieces of shit that don't want to leave the house for anything. I don't want to have to go to the store for butter. Diner DoorDash. Thank you for my butter. Diner DoorDash? Ah, I made it up. Sound that's, like a, that's like an online, uh, or that's like a DoorDash. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you Diner still have like giant apps where you Diner order dash. your groceries. Diner Dash, yeah, that was an app. And then just have them all No, we do. My wife orders. My wife orders. <laughs> like you can just order. Ah, oh, this is what we need. I don't it's have to walk through the, the store. Insta Instacart. You can. And what was it? We was do Tom Segura that had the joke. There. You literally don't have to leave your house for anything. Yeah. yeah. For yeah. anything. Well, the well, it's good. You know, it's it, there is good times when it's useful, not just for people being lazy, like us having a four month old. It makes it a lot easier. You for ordered us. a four-month-old yes. online? No. I think that's illegal. That's not how you told me ba where babies came from. You <laughs> lied to me, sir. <laughs> what the no, fuck? I'm just saying, order food. You know, for, like instead of strapping a four-month-old in a car seat, well, and going and going out. <laughs> I do get what you're saying. And yes, I love video games, Ad. They also have a, announced another need that they have. They have a, a need, need for speed. Oh. They announced that the around they're looking at a need for speed title coming soon. Publisher said that its investor call that had it planned to launch a new game before the end of March 2020. So they're planning on doing other stuff. Need All for right. speed. Most wanted was probably my favorite of the top of the whole. Oh, the first most wanted. Oh yeah, fantastic game. It was great. But they also announced plans for zombies. Three coming to consoles and PC. I remember playing the uh, Need for Speed. And that's coming this year. In the break room of Circuit City. Mm -hmm. So it's in currently in pre alpha testing for the Plans for Zombies 3. Kelly, you said your wife is going to be happy with that oh, one. Oh, she loves that game. I actually, it was fun. The second one was awesome. Now, the other thing played. I wanted to quickly note in here is oh, yeah. some of the people are, are sports fans. Obviously, FIFA and Madden, yeah, they're coming out. That's doing good. NBA Live 20, been delayed. Not so. surprised. No. They're delaying that. They're still going hard with the FIFA, which worldwide is very cool oh, yeah. for them. FIFA is amazing. They're FIFA still making it so for like good. original consoles. Like, well, I'd want to say PlayStation. They're mm. making like, I don't Maybe know. not anymore, but I know they were back in the day when it was at least PlayStation 3 era. Not PS1, though. No. For the undeveloper con undeveloped countries with like PlayStations and all that stuff, they had it out there. I want oh, there, there were there were... Yeah, they were like new people who were updating it. That yeah. they were just taking the recent, the most recent one they had and updating it, which I think was. They're still point. putting out a FIFA on a shitty console. That's impressive. I'm just putting that out there. But if you were looking for NBA, you're you're gonna be sad because they're delayed. Or you can just buy 2K and be done with it. <laughs> it's in the game. Um, Days Gone. This game is known to be one of the prettiest games. It is. Right a, it's good. He, he didn't buy it. It is a very on nice uh, the four K on the four K TV here. It is. It is really great, especially when you get into it. It's awesome on my four K monitor. Oh my god! <laughs> they've got enough. They've been adding have a lot of apps to this. Or not apps, but uh, modes. I don't. Yeah, I, don't I, I, I just haven't gotten back into it lately. So, um, they got a really cool one because if you kids these days may not know what the old man and the rest of us will remember is two decades ago there used to be a little game came out on the Dreamcast. <laughs> <laughs> it was called <laughs> Crazy Taxi. Yeah, I remember Crazy Taxi. 
they are crazy ripping taxi. off Crazy Taxi. Completely. Except, it's not a taxi. You'll be squashing down zombies to, you know, up the, uh, you know, de- give you more time. You'll have to get from point A to please, point B in short distances. Please, please PS4. Who, who made this game? Whoever made this game, please reach out to, to Fox Studios just to license The Simpsons for an event and make it a a, a, a uh, zombie hit and run. Oh, <laughs> zombie hit and run. Simpsons hit and run, which was a co- complete ripoff. And just be like, oh, yeah. hey, we <laughs> remember this era. <laughs> now, it's still going to have all the stuff from Crazy Taxi. You're going to be able to drift, and if you have your car positioned the right way for the next fare, that'll decrease time. And It's all about that saving time, getting the customer there happily, well, safely. And you kill mo- a mob of zombies, eh, maybe add an additional minute or two to your time. That's, that's all in the golf cart. If you go down here, you'll actually see the video here, right there from their tweet. You're literally, it's crazy taxi. Uh, about videos? There we go. Yeah, this is this is video games. They want you to play their shit. So, yep, okay. there's your golf cart. Uh, just, I get memories, boost mode. I get memories of playing Dead Rising and, and, and taking the lawnmower and just yep. sawing zombies. It was awesome. That was another good one because yeah. they did Dead Rising 3 not too long ago. They have four. Well, yeah, no, four, that's what I meant. I have three and four, but three was, was good. Four, they just, my God. I heard they the, need to uh, do the, the fourth one was good. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah, they had a lot of different crafting mechanics in it, too. But, yeah, man, it was... Uh, they just remastered the first two as well. Mm-hmm. I'm perfectly fine with that, especially since they've been adding on free modes to their game. Anytime, Ooh. Anytime you can put, uh, like... For additional content, and you're not charging the game like the the console or the customer base, mm-hmm. you know, any more money than what are. It's what like doing your laundry out. and finding money in your pocket. Oh shit! Look at that! I found that. That's great. That's exactly what that free content is. It's like, oh, well, yeah, thank for you. For you, it was just eighty pesos, but that's. It's a crazy cool. time in Mexico. All right. Um. But. This next story is adorable. You can turn your pet into a Pokemon card, <laughs> and that is a whole bunch of different ones too. What would your What would your pet Pokemon be? It wouldn't fit on the card. No, it would not. Mister Grouper is like four hundred pounds. <laughs> he's got a, he's a bull massive. He's but he just looks at me and goes like, "Wolf." It's like the nice. <laughs> <thing. laughs> yeah. The worst part is that dog thinks it's a lap dog still. So yes. it'll sit on your lap and you're like, <laughs> And you're tapping out because it's well, like that's your first move. Like the, 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 the that's your first move. leg lock. I sits. <laughs> <laughs> he sits on opponent. You lose your next turn. Bonus for drool. <laughs> <laughs> so you would uh, you'll probably be surprised at who is actually doing this. It is uh, wild pets. Wild Pets Creations. Or okay. you may know their website that they take care of. Etsy. Oh my oh. lord. Mm. You go onto Etsy and they will make your pet a Pokemon. Not through any kind of alchemy, like full metal art. We're not getting we're not doing law of equivalent exchange in here. Seriously? Butt bunk, yeah. Butt Causes bunk. confusion. <laughs> he, but, but, but hey man, there's a reason why we call him Stinky, alright? Stinky Linky? There's a reason. Mega Chomp, Shark Fin Sway. <laughs> like it's a, it's awesome because you can ch- you can set, do a lot of stuff with this. You send in a photo of your dog with some info, and you get this magnificent card. Lots of people with a lot of really great reviews on it saying they got it for you know anniversaries and birthdays. Butt and it was awesome. Oscar <laughs> will freak out and launch himself off the couch. Opponent is now confused. <laughs> <laughs> Playtime deals double damage against toys and triple damage to to Barry. Mm. Okay, we got it. Doesn't like Barry. Um, but you'll uh, customers are given a list. That's like a Fill out the name, Pokemon type, HP, species, length, and weight. You can customize the attacks, including the and name, ball. description, is it, is damage, attraction and for water can be devastating. <laughs> Pounce waits patiently to surprise opponent. If the target Pokemon is a bow or an Oreo, 
deal stuff with that. And you can also edit the weaknesses and the resistance to elements in there as well. So you pick the type, you pick everything about this card. You can make them a legendary, you can make them, you know, any, any kind of different thing. It's available now, man. Zoomies. Dashes around randomly, avoiding capture or attacks. <laughs> fur blizzard. <laughs> Enemy is buried in fur, renders them frozen, and I can't figure out the rest of it. Maybe something for one turn. Lilo, toxic toots. <laughs> <laughs> Whether it was pizza or kibble consumed, opponent becomes badly poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> then snore siren and fix double damage if the target is poisoned. Oh yeah, man. I just thought this was so, just such a good gift That's idea cool. for any nerd in your life. The best is this. that they actually have like weakness, blah blah blah. Oh, blah, you blah. and you customize yeah, all of it. So you, you could probably the bottom there that I'm too If you were Super playing Pokemon like and you use this, this Pokemon would be legit. can be a bit annoying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go, Link. We found your power. Rest. Pokemon does nothing for two turns. Heal, <laughs> heal. Hundred hit points. I found a couple of them in here that would actually apply to Link too, but I'm like, ah, that's okay. But you've got cats as well. Yep. Oh, keep that's going down. What, <laughs> yep, that's what this is. Hairball. <laughs> mortal m mortar feet. Flip a coin. No matter the outcome, mortar goes everywhere. <laughs> yep. Legendary Pokemon. Scratch. Sonic Meow. Right now. As well as horses. Jesus. Don't do anything. Give him a picture. Whatever you want. But you got your Pokemon, man. So that's uh, definitely online as well. I had to go through all of them. Next one. Another one that's online available for you. Deadpool Bear. Yeah, you don't want that. That's that comic book crap. There he is. Cute little Deadpool Bear coming to Build-A-Bear online. Online only. Exclusive. And you'll see right here. Cut down. Or up, rather. Yeah, no, up. Up, up. Right there. Collector's exclusive. Online exclusive collector's item. They are. <laughs> if you are that creepy dumb son of a bitch who's going to go into the build a bear, <laughs> standing next to the seven year olds. Wanting to I'm do here for dance. Deadpool. I am here for Deadpool. <laughs> wanting to do the hard <laughs> dance that they make you do. Like, all right, put it in there. No, I'm not turning my head. Get out of my way. Excuse <laughs> me, you put the sword through his eye so it looks like it's stabbing him? <laughs> Billy, I said wait your turn. <laughs> it's Daddy's turn. <laughs> but the cool thing is but the accessory. Mr. Why do you have an SMG in your pocket? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about too soon ever. It's, uh, that joke's ever. Just never soon enough. Just leave it in the dark. It's, that, that joke's fine. <laughs> but you want a little uh, cell phone, a little, little frappuccino, a little bag, maybe cowboy Deadpool? Oh, yeah, man. They got all the accessories for you to shell out money. I guarantee you that rose, probably more expensive than a bouquet. Yeah. yeah all that build a bear that shit. Ring. Like that? They got that one, the ballerina. They got the, you know, that. They had a fucking skateboarder, like a skateboard Deadpool. I'm not going to lie. I do want to check it out and at least see how much it is. Because it is kind of cool. But who wouldn't want a Deadpool bear? So cute. Unlike that motherfucker, the Big Daddy, which is on the podcast screen. You're seeing it right next to that ugly other fucker, the old man. Ooh. But... Uh, one still unproven. I will put it this way: Greg Russo says he would love to make a Bioshock movie. I'd love to win the lottery. Ain't gonna happen. So he says, he <clears throat> "How good was uh, how good was the first Bioshock?" It was so amazing. Mm. It, it, the and they even admit it in this article. It's it's still arguably they, they, they lost one of the you best on the center few. Of I still time. I still revisit this, this game. Awesome. And, you know, best game of all time. It, the, the, oh, and yeah. even it was good. Don't get me wrong. If it was good, which is the Infinite, one where the, which is was the a real mind problems. twister when you yeah. had oh, yeah. that, 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 whole, that uh, story was that, great. I haven't played that one, but I watched like uh, Infinite. So oh yeah. Oh, really cool. Infinite. oh, oh man. Fantastic. It looked confusing. The mind fuck at the end was just like it was. Yeah, it was not to the would you kindly level, but it was still. Oh, oh my god, it was great. It looked really confusing with like the roller coaster type thing, and that's all in it. Eh, it was just a way to get around a floating city. Yeah, that's all it was. Yeah, that, 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 that was just that was your supplement in the pocket. Isn't it like an open map? No. 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 It's not. still Bioshock. Yeah. It's still 
it's it's totally it has story its well run it it's totally it well. opens it up to where it, you don't feel like it's the normal bioshock yeah. levels but it's still the normal bioshock cuz you're you know not floating like especially in the trailers they made it seem like you Super. could just go over to another island whenever yeah. the fuck you wanted that's no. not the case mm -hmm. maybe if it was they were developing that now but we have yet to see a bioshock in this current generation i just love how they tied like at the end of that one, all the lore together. Mm -hmm. um, but with this one, also, now stay on this one, go down. There's another thing right here that th I found interesting. Back in 2008, Take Two Interactive struck a deal with Universal Studios to produce a movie for Bioshock. It would have released in 2010, but they had disagreements over the movie's budget, and there was no Bioshock movie. But they already thought about doing this. Russo gets his way. He's thinking about focusing more on the horror aspect of it. And that would be... You have to take this as a horror movie. You have to have that in there. Because that was such a big part of the game. You don't know yeah, if a slicer yeah. is in the corner. You have to figure out your own way of going. And it was great. How, 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 quick, how quick are they going to uh, be able to pull this off? I would love to see this movie. It's just the thing is, is that he said he's been trying to, to a, do probably a, quite a bit of negotiation. Well, it's it's not well. Yeah, it's the negotiation is the hard part because you have Greg Russo who is doing Mortal Kombat. He they want him to do a reboot of the Resident Evil. Okay. As well as Saints Row and many other game video game movies. If he makes it good, at Mortal Kombat. You can have it. If you let him go eventually, he just plays himself out. He takes himself out. He just. When I when I wake up, it's like. It's like the dad. Please, please, please. Like down. It's like every typical dad. Fall asleep on the couch. With yeah. The, we're in front of the TV. Yeah, and then you change the channel. It's watching that. You were fucking sleeping. <laughs> you wasn't sleeping. You were snoring. So, snoring. with that, <laughs> Russo has a, uh, a good future ahead, even though I'm skeptical. Something I'm not skeptical about. Crisis on Infinite Earths. The Arrowverse is bringing in your favorite. You know him. You love him. Kevin Cosner. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost. Val Kilmer? You got the first at least, name? At least it's in the same like realm. <laughs> is it was Cosner was, you know... Uh, when was he Batman? He wasn't Batman. Okay. He was Kevin Cosner. <laughs> Kevin He's showing up in the Arrowverse as Bruce Wayne. And if you scroll down on the article a little bit, I want to get the uh, right there, the Supergirl up with the schedule. Yeah, that that's awesome. It's Clash of uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths. If you haven't seen the comic, this is what the crossover event this year for the Arrowverse is based on. Essentially, all these multiverses are coming to an end, so all those superheroes from the realms have to gather together to save the day. Um, and with this, you not only have Kevin uh, Kevin Conroy coming back in there, you have uh, Burt Ward, the Robin from the 60s Batman, yeah. as well as Brandon Ruth. Let's hope Burt's been doing Ralph. some sit-ups. Who was Superman in Superman Returns. He's coming back. Go up to the schedule. That's what I wanted. Supergirl, Sunday, December 8th. Batwoman, Monday, December 9th. Makes sense, right? Flash, guess what? It's on the 10th. When are you going to end it? On January fucking 14th. <laughs> you know, that's when you vacations give a month? start. And you could have moved it up earlier. You didn't have to have a month gap in there like, oh, just wait until we finish this. This is going to be great. Oh, man, you're going to love it. A month later. Give me the fucking episode! Like... I'm gonna, but this is what I do. I wait until they're all done. And then I go on to CW.com and I watch all of them. Boom. I just okay. want them to have a playlist where it shows everything in chronological order. Yeah, Can you give well, me that? That's all I want. You go to the CW.com. They'll have Crisis on Infinite Earth crossover. It goes one, two, three, four. It goes right down. You don't stay on that show's episode and going through their season midway. It does it great. But I think they're adding in so many characters into this massive TV 
undertaking that I can't wait. The Flash is already done. The original Flash from the TV series, what was it, in the 90s or the 80s? It was uh, early It was early 90s. And that guy who played the Flash, he is in the show with uh, Grant Custom. Yeah, I know. He was, you know He's in, in the Barry's, show, father, Barry's father, as well as he comes back as uh, another Flash. Um, I'm forgetting his name right now. The original Flash, not how uh, 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 Kevin Barry Costner? Allen, but it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Kevin Costner either. His no. name is me right now. Kevin Gunn. <laughs> it's not Kevin Gunn either. But I'm glad you brought that one up. That's a Throwback Thursday there. <laughs> Name escapes me right now, but they're bringing Black Lightning into this as well. They've kept Black Lightning aside to this, you know, and just left it in its own universe, and now they're going to bring it in. I like right. that because Black Lightning, that's a good show. It's a I, little bit underrated. I never, I haven't I've watched one episode. I checked it out on Netflix. No, it's a good show. I like it. So that's all I have to say about that. The next story, though, is good. It is another two shows that I've been watching pretty fucking heavily. The Here we go. No, that's what you were just on. Oh, no, this one. This is the. Uh, I said this in the pre story. Small another thing with the Crisis Smallville. on Infinite Earths, they want to bring in one of the Smallville characters. Uh, of course, CW's Smallville was the teen drama which followed Clark Kent before he became Superman, ended off as you know he was becoming Superman. Had his own Justice League. He had a Flash. He had a, a, a Green Arrow. He had an Aqua Lad. Oh, I, well, Aquaman. He was still a lad. But he had Jay his own. Garrick. Thing. There you go, Jay Garrick. There you go. That's the I original for the wing. There we go. But um, Jay Garrick will be in it as well as hopefully one person from the Smallville cast. The, uh, the actor who played Superman, uh, Tom mm-hmm. Wellington. Would it? Yeah. You he, think, he think Chloe's going to make an appearance? I think she might still be in prison from the whole sex cult trafficking thing. Oh, so she's she, unavailable. She might, she might not make it. She might not make it for film. Her uh, film well, is... you got to be able to go to Vancouver, too. That's where they do all Yeah, the, she's probably not going to be able to leave the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well. They do all the filming in Vancouver for the, most of these shows, like Flash and Supergirl. So, yeah, she's, she's not coming. Yeah, that's, that will just... I, I don't think. I don't Mark, think so. Mark, oh, well. Put an X and marker on the list. Um, She's not going to make the reunion at all. <laughs> no. Yeah, probably not. But this story is awesome. Two shows that I've watched Marvel's The Runaways as well as Cloak and Dagger. These are two series that Cloak and Dagger you've seen in animated TV shows before, but this is giving them their New Orleans real rich history. Yeah. And it does a really good job with this show because it's on Hulu. Uh, um. I know Runaways is on Hulu. Cloak and Dagger is on Freeform. It's essentially the same fucking company. They same thing. Give it a goddamn different name. But Cloak and Dagger is really good. Runaways is a series that you don't know you want. The comic is great. The show is good as well. Okay. You have a girl that has a pet raptor who she has a psychic link with. One woman is like a sorcerer with a really cool witch staff. She can only use a, a spell once. So she uses the spell Freeze. She has to use, think of a different spell that would have that effect, but she can't use freeze again because mm-hmm. it won't freeze. Hmm. Uh, Icy mist! Um, Dehumidify! <laughs> like, maybe something, think outside the box a little bit, I don't know. But that one's coming up for a crossover, those two shows. And that's another series to where, yeah, bring them in, bring them together. It's fun. It's two nice kids' shows. I think someone's going to learn to use them. Can she, she learn to use any spell at all that she thinks of, just but only once? Only once. Yeah, with so the magic staff. Like, magic bottle throw, and it would just like... Yeah, <laughs> yeah but then she can't use that again. But she could be like, magic bottle toss! Magic, magic bottle <laughs> toss! Magic bottle tumble! <laughs> yeah. Where's yeah. my fucking... Magic story? bottle... Oops! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie daisy goes into your face! Ah, oh, I win. Yeah, I always think of something. I have a thesaurus I got for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, she's just Gary Ryan. But uh, I better get up in English. <laughs> Thesaurus. A book that helps you see other different ways of uh, think, saying a word. A yeah. Thesaurus. Yeah. This, uh, uh, this movie, rather, you probably won't see, which is Ant-Man, uh, Wasp. You're not going to see anything with them until probably after the Avengers, which some are saying. Rumors that the Avengers 5 title will be 
New Avengers. And hopefully, after Ghostbusters, hopefully he gets to be, be in Ghostbusters like we talked about before. Oh, Paul Rudd. Yeah, yeah. he's going to be in there. He already has signed up for it, but that's probably another reason why, because yeah, he's unavailable. He has a problem. Link has a problem with the fly. Uh, yeah, they'll go follow him around. And look at you him. know, the fly is pretty safe unless he's a foot off the ground. So mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> small dog problem. <laughs> Anyway. But while the source here essentially came from the person who uh, announced that Taskmaster is going to be the uh, villain for Black Widow movie. Also with Taskmaster, you have yeah, pictures. Um, he's the main villain in the game as well for the Avengers game. Okay. To where I, I said in my undefeated well, video, if that Avengers game is half as good as that undefeated game, I'd take it. I'm skeptical. You just don't like Thor. I don't like any of the, any of the characters. Like we've covered this in the past. Well, listen to the back it? episodes. Yeah, check the past podcast. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, look. coming up on the end of the news here, but good news nonetheless. Do you have Hulu? Well, in uh, November twelfth, you're going to find Disney Plus arriving, and it is going to be cheaper. I can't. Get rid of that you have ad. to let the ad play, and then you can get rid of it. It's going to be cheaper than the six ninety nine a month or the sixty nine ninety five annual price uh, when it launches, but it will have an add on for Hulu. So if you don't have Hulu, six ninety nine, bitch. You got Hulu, probably going to be cheaper than that as an add on, just like they have with Universal uh, Access and HBO. We don't talk about that company. They're like Fight Club. You don't say their name. But there's a certain all access that you can sign up for on Hulu as well. The one we told to go at. Yeah. Okay. They shall re uh, remain uh, unmentioned. Unmentioned. But so Sir Patrick Stewart it? has a show coming out on Huh Huh Huh, and it's called Picard. It's it's gonna probably be really good. But I wouldn't know. I would show you a trailer, but yeah, it would probably get taken down. <laughs> <laughs> I'd try to promote them, and they would still. Yeah. yeah. We, we don't talk about Fight Club. Um, we didn't talk about that. So the, the, uh, <laughs> so the, the company is, is now called yeah. Fight Club? Yeah, we're calling him Fight Club. Okay. So, um, Fight Club. obviously. Wasn't his name Robert Paulson? <laughs> <laughs> his name is In Death. In Death. It's definitely Everyone a Richard's name. And his name was Robert Paulson. His name was Robert Paulson. His name, His name is Robert, Robert Paulson. Paulson. <laughs> His name is Robert Paulson. So we His end name. off this podcast every with, uh, with his name being Robert Paulson. Not with that. <laughs> We're definitely not ending with that. With um, a bottle toss. No. <laughs> you already used that. You can't oh, use it no. again. <laughs> you gotta get used to the Yeah. That's the horse. That's the horse is definitely a different book. The horse. That's where you can find any kind of whore, but using it in a different word. Hey, magic whore throw. Ho? <laughs> Get over here. Um, but we, I have a very interesting no, the thought tool. experiment. <laughs> <laughs> a very interesting thought experiment. Magic link throw. I'm going back to verses. Now, Spider-Man 3. There's a lot of different kind of rumors as to who's going to be the villain, blah, 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 what's that. One glaring um, caveat is that motherfucker's gonna need a lawyer. Yeah. yeah. Secrets out. They know who he is. Thanks to JJ. He's gonna need a lawyer. He broke the Soviet Accords. He's gonna need a lawyer. Who would you like to see as Peter Parker's lawyer more? Daredevil, one Matt Murdock, or She Hulk? 100% Matt Murdock. They have a huge line, you know, a comic relationship with them. Yeah. And the caveat to that is that the hold from the Netflix buyout with Disney and all that, with the, with the breakup, Daredevil ends in 2021. That sucks. And that's right around the time when you'd want to start thinking about another Spider-Man movie, right? Especially with all these different Phase Four stuff going on, yeah. Hunter Cannon in Phase Five. And they already they already confirmed that the uh, the Netflix cast is out. So 
I don't give a fuck. He doesn't like him anyway. But Ew. give me Daredevil. Daredevil? I wasn't. Yeah. I wasn't thrilled. I wasn't. Crazy he did a fucking phenomenal. With him. Job. He did a phenomenal job. The first, se- the first season. The bo- I was, thought all the Daredevils kind of, that were on there were. I liked. I, I thought they were better than all the. Others. I enjoyed all of the Daredevils. I thought what season the, one was the absolute best that's of like every any of the show. series. You'll find many shows. That the what about season uh, is ben ben I mean, all of them. I mean, wasn't he good? I mean, all their iterations, too. You had Daredevil, Luke Cage, Punisher, Iron Fist, Defenders. Out of all that shit, season one of Daredevil, yeah, fucking perfect. Which made it amazing. Season season shit that that good I, so, so season one of Daredevil, what made season one Daredevil perfect wasn't necessarily Charlie Cox as Daredevil. It was a hallway scene. That fucking hallway scene. Uh, I'll tell you what it was. Is. Absolutely what hooked me. It yes. was Vincent D'Onofrio as Kingpin. Oh my god. <gasps> it was, not, it, it it was the villain, everyone. not the hero. I think that it was a mixture between. I thought they had a great cast. I think Matt Murdock, his character, what's his name? Who played Charlie him? Cox. Charlie Cox. I think Charlie Cox did well. But yes, I think no, D'Onofrio killed it. But the girl that, you, that was in True Blood. Yeah, Deborah yeah. Ann Wall. She's so hot. She she killed it, and fucking uh, Biggie from from Mighty Ducks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought everyone in that in that series, even the old dude, they got what's his name? The yeah, Kuga. that played with the hand. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, I think everyone that did a good job in that first season. Yeah, he was like everyone killed punch. that. Yeah. yeah, everyone killed that first season. Not the first not, season. Yeah. Not was it that one besides. Kingpin, I agree with that. The backstory with with his father in the first season that that yeah. was art. I just think it was greatly written, and everyone did their part expertly right. well done. So so here's what happened between season like in all of the Netflix series in season one to season two, there was a writer's strike. Did that happen? Mm-hmm. It makes sense then. <laughs> you know, maybe you wait until the writer's strike's over before you start to. Dribble well, it's not like they have those planned out in the agenda. People are going to watch. Like, okay, guys, though. May we're gonna release this June. Yeah, we're, we're all going on a deal. strike. Bob, you included. No bitching. Strike on, and then give up your stories. It's not planned, but writer strikes definitely have something to do with it. It's also just ugh, iron. Once you get to Iron Fist. Oh God, that's just Pretty like smelling something bitch. nasty. I didn't mind Iron Fist. Uh, season I, two? I, no, season two is bad. Season? I didn't, I didn't first, know he was going to be his Game of first, Thrones first. character in the, the, the last. Two of Iron <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he was. Uh, the last two episodes of season two were the only semi malleable. Yeah, but it was the very consumed. last five seconds of season yeah. two that actually made you happy. Like. Oh, you can actually use your Iron Fist enchanting into your weapons like you can in the fucking comic. Thanks for the last five seconds. And then oh, and by the way, we're canceled. Yeah. We're going to save you some time. Just watch the last five seconds. The last... You know what the, <laughs> that ending of that show, Iron Fist, was? <laughs> that that was it. Like, oh my God. Ah, the, the ending was the best part. Defenders. Defenders... I didn't think it was bad. It was I don't know. Maybe I'm just... Maybe I just like am too optimistic about things and I get excited when I see them. I don't know. You I gotta just, be a pessimist. Expect everything shit and you'll be happy when it's not. No, I mean yeah. it's it's just I had it's hope for Marvel nice. and the Netflix. It was up until the Stable. kingdom toppled because they realized <laughs> what every everybody else realized. Hang on a second. Why am I just trying to get on these two streaming platforms? Why don't I just make my own shit? And that's where everybody's going now. It's a lot like Disney Plus. I said it in previous podcasts. Oh, they're probably just going to add it as an add-on to Hulu. Batman was right because it makes business sense. This is how you're going to keep people in. I don't think there was any kind of retention to keep do you the think, fans. In. Do you think that the shows are going to be better now that they're being on Disney Plus? I think everything's going to be better because it's all under one house. The House of Mouse. Yes, but <laughs> but I can't. I see. I've I've, 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 I've always felt that uh, that if they're going to, it's going to lesser lessen the the violence, the the, the blood. The, it's going to be more good, PG. Yeah, well, that was a good part blood. about those series is that they were so real. But that's also where you can get in. You can get them in on. All right, if you're not Disney Plus level, put them on Hulu. Hulu is 70% owned by Disney anyway, hence Runaways. No, I'm just saying and in general, they're going to so be written, be written to the audience that they're going to be going to. If they're going to be on Disney+, it's, Plus, gonna be like, it's going to be written for younger 
a younger crowd than us. It's going to be like Star Wars, the first Star Wars in the 80s here's, versus here's why the I new have one. to say, not necessarily, because Disney saw rated R Deadpool. They saw what, what that can do. Doctor they Strange saw, in the Madness is going to be a horror superhero film with Doctor Strange. So and then with the I don't think they're the afraid Netflix of that. series of the Marvel uh, of the Marvel verse of Netflix, then they see all that coming through. So you're saying Disney will like don't Jessica let it run. Had sex I scene. think the Marvel. You think Disney will have a sex scene in there? With I think the no. Marvel. I don't brand. think they'll have a sex scene, but I think they'll let, they'll they'll let the violence violence and chaos run a little bit more. I think because the Marvel brand itself. allows that. It's not Disney. It's Marvel. We know they're doing by Disney, but it's still, it's almost like... Uh, but you have to realize, their, Disney's like going to have... Touchstone? They have the Touchstone Pictures, right? And Disney's Disney. the realism. Disney's going to have a contract. They put out real stuff on they're, separate... Disney's going to have a contract that's going to say, if you want, to, if you want to, your stuff to be watched on our channel, you're not allowed to be doing X, Y, and Z. And I can guarantee that the writers are going to have to go back and say, okay, no sex scenes. No nudity whatsoever. No lower realism. the profanity. That's lower all about the bloodshed. Lower this. It's all about them and up to the ratings. If they want to have like Loki, he's not yeah, a hero. So, he's so an anti villain. With, but they're going to do it because that's where they're going to get their money. Did you see that? So did you see that? Did you see those rules implemented in Marvel Avengers and any of the movies? No, you still watched Marvel Avengers. They were because contemplating it's Marvel Avengers. Just like what we announced, they were contemplating having Thanos throw a decapitated Captain America head at their feet at the final battle. That's not Disney. That's not. Ha-ha, I'm gonna kill you. That's like. <laughs> that's fucking Thanos. Like here you yeah, just exalt, but, bitch. But they I came back in time to fuck you in the ass. But that was it. That was a Disney decision. Marvel, that they was a Kevin Feige decision. I know, yeah. but I'm saying that Disney will have. I'm telling you, they will chime they in. They will have a say. As to I'm not saying they if won't. you want to have a rape scene in a Marvel show, no, it's well, not happening. No, you went from zero to go no, no, separate I'm ways. I'm saying sex scene, not rape scene. That's the complete. But that's understand. the thing. You have sex scenes in daytime television that your kids would see. It's all you about still have the that on ABC, which is owned by Disney. You still have the context there. They will curb it just like they did everything. Am I going to see Wanda Vision getting it on? Like Wanda going down on Vision? Like, oh, I know you loved this before. No. <laughs> but maybe you'll see him playing House Party. It's the, uh, porno. Cybernetics. It's the porno game from the first, second story we had. It was tiny. Yeah. You trying to tie it back in. Bring it back around. Mm-hmm. That's, that yeah. didn't quite work. Yeah. But my question was who do you want to see the lawyer? She Hulk. Obviously, the Hulk getting a Disney show. Getting back on topic. The Hulk has a Disney Plus show, and She-Hulk reportedly being in it, she is going to be in that Disney Plus universe for (laughs) them to go and draw off of. So there's going to be that character Uh, available, readily available, I would say more readily available than what Daredevil would be. Because, yeah, he's going to be available 2021, but a lot like X-Men, as soon as they got the rights, they were like, calm down, Tiger. We got to plan this out first. So that's where... I kind of see a more logical choice being She-Hulk, but what do I want to see? I want to see Daredevil. I'm still going Daredevil. Going Daredevil. You don't like I, it, so it's. Just, I wasn't paying attention, so I'll go with the crowd and go Daredevil. I'm here we go. Who would you want to see be the lawyer? She Spider-Man's Daredevil. lawyer. Daredevil, I guess, because he has the other series tie-in. We'll go with that. I would rather go Daredevil because at least he can. Tell if someone's lying. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he has yeah. that good. He is a good lawyer. That's not really what they. No, no, no. no. Here's, really the, here's what's gonna happen in Netflix. Book Spider Man. I know I should have been working on your case last night, but I had to go stop robbers. I got nothing prepared. Sorry, you're out of luck. It doesn't matter though because he knows when people are lying. But that's exactly yeah, what but you didn't like the, ne- the Netflix like. series because biggest case of your life. Oh, I'm gonna be a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> no, you. And Do your prep work. Be responsible and study. Yeah. <laughs> and then he became an amazing lawyer, and Daredevil was forgotten. Oh, Go a great story. He was an awesome <laughs> lawyer, and he helped people. Do we need an episode two? No. That's not lawyer man. <laughs> no, it's Daredevil. No. I he turned Daredevil into an awesome lawyer. Are you thinking right now? <laughs> you did turn Daredevil. He wanted to be like an awesome lawyer. <laughs> NYPD Daredevil. Like, what is it? Dun Dun Lawn Daredevil. 
Dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> NCI Daredevil? Yeah. Where it was just like naval Daredevil president. Executive producer Dick Feige. <laughs> <laughs> Special Victims Unit Daredevil. <laughs> Jesus. I heard her being raped four blocks away. That would not be a Disney Plus show. No, 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 no. It would be Special, be special, special Victims Unit. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to see him come back, John Barthol. If, no, if, all, if, if of all of them, out of all of them, it, how it has to be him. Ah, he played the character the best. He went to a comic shop. He's like, ah, I'll get these. The guy's like, no, you're getting these. You're gonna do it right, and he did. I love that guy. I would love for him to just be Daredevil, but probably be like the Hugh Jackman syndrome. You mean Punisher? Yeah, Punisher rather. But it'll be like the Hugh Jackman syndrome, where you're he, not going he to get. Have, he should have a tie-in, a uh, half. Um, Half series that ties into a full movie for him. Into the multiverse, man. Any yeah. full, anything's possible. We end off this show with thank yous. Uh, Amy Tucker liked the Projangers and Wallhangers podcast I saw, so of course we send a thank you out to her, Ultimate Walljanger and friend of the show, as well as Pamela Basil. She liked podcasts 52, 51, and 50. Beat your meat, not your lungs. Ice Cream Man, you'll get more Disney D later. I love our titles, man. And... Fallout raspberries under pressure. <laughs> that was the last one. I was kind of proud of that one. Um, but we thank all of you for listening and watching. This has been Podcast 53. Kevin. We thank Kevin as well. Tales from the Morgue, Episode 2. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Definitely share it out and spread it out to all your friends. Ripped-studios.com. Proud of you, Joe. Ripped Studios is Joe. the official sponsor of the podcast especially since I'm half the company. And uh, we thank you all for watching the episode, and it's very much my pride and joy. It's the first thing I've written and directed. And uh, thank you all for watching. We come here every Monday to go over the nerdy news, and we have done that. Dug through the muck and the cum and the dirt. I am Matthew Bucherill, the Matt Man. To my right is Christopher Bristow, the Old Man. Stephen Bucherill, Big Brother, and Kelly Collins. Twitchy Wilson are here as well. As always, boys and girls, we'll see you next week. Come on! Next, that ball and land, and you can get in them. Big head watching tentacle porn is a very big search on red tube. I feel like if we got this to Superman uh, 64, it would have been better. Yeah, it's a little more control of and use of it. Use of my weapons. There's, uh, exactly. So it's the Jedi. Yeah, the, the Jedi. Of course, once again, available on Steam. Pizza. Oh, hi. Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> 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 No, uncover that air conditioner quickly. <laughs> <laughs>